All right, what's in the box Wednesday segment? It's from Brad at Legends of Car Audio. Oh, what's in the box? My name is Derek and I do YouTube videos about audio equipment. Videos about audio. I know it doesn't make sense, but if you guys enjoy that type of stuff, you might enjoy subscribing to my channel and I'd appreciate it. So stick around for the cool content and don't be surprised if you see a big dummy. All right, what's in the box Wednesday segment? It's from Brad at Legends of Car Audio, I should say. Oh, cool. Pretty. Look at that. It's hard to see the beauty of it. We have so many reflections here in the lab. There's Big Dummy. She's pretty chrome. Dual outputs. MA Audio. What's the model of this one? Look on the side, I guess. There's Big Dummy. Line output, line input. Speakers, fuse, power, and ground. There we go. HC502, 79 bucks. Massive audio car amp. All right, here are some specs of the MA Audio. You can see bass boost from 45 to 90 hertz, 24 dB crossovers. And here are the power ratings, all at 13.8 volts DC. Yes, it's rated 500 watts at 1 ohm mono. You know we're going to find out if that's the truth or not. This amp is just very cool looking. As you can see, the design here looks a lot like the MA Audio Com 1 that I showed you before. The dual output VU meters has the fans. It has all the adjustments on the top. Inputs and outputs on one side. Very simple. On the other side is the speaker terminals. These accept 8 gauge and the power and ground except four gauge. There's a 30 amp fuse, which is kind of funny for an amp that has four gauge inputs. But yeah, let's fire up the amp dyno. Let's see how the amp does. All right, let's try four ohms mono certified at 40 Hertz for the MA Audio HC502. Hundred and seventy five watts at fourteen point four six. We pulled twenty four and a half amps. It's rated one hundred and seventy. So yeah, beat rated. Woohoo! All right, MA Audio HC five hundred two. We're gonna try two ohms mono certified at forty hertz. All right, two forty three at fourteen and a half volts. We pulled about forty amps of current. It's rated. 290 so it didn't quite get there all right ma audio com one we're going to try one ohm mono at 40 hertz <laughs> okay 212 watts at 14.44 i uh, pulled 56.4 amps not quite there my friends all right, and just for comparison, we'll try the one kilohertz track at one ohm mono. Let's see what we get. All right, 304, 14.2. All right, for this high current MA Audio 502, it's ready to do 500 watts at one ohm mono. We're going to try dynamically at one ohm mono 40 hertz. See what we get. All right, so we didn't quite beat 300. We got 293 at 14.3, and the inrush current says about 70 amps of current. All right, here we have the MA Audio HC502, sent to me by my good buddy Brad over at Legends of Car Audio. Make sure you check the video description for a link to his eBay page. He's got some really cool old school gear. He finds a lot of new in-box stuff. But we've got this amp bridged, and we have it hooked up 
This little Sundown 6.5, this is a SA 6.5 SW. Let's fire up the amp real quick. And I'll let you hear it come on. See the VU meters? The fans are actually pretty loud on this and they don't turn off, they just stay on. So let's fire up a song here and watch the VU meters jump and we'll watch the sub slam. Alright, I've had several of you guys comment that you really like when I show the AMM1 and the speaker and the amplifier. So we can see what the true power is going to the speaker. So you asked for it. Here we go. Let's try it out. See what kind of power we can get to this six and a half inch sub through this amp. It's crazy. Seems like a lot more than 32 watts. There's 50. I saw a 60. Check out the sub, man. It's really getting down. Clipping the amp, so I back it down one. That's fun. Now I'm just going to try the solid 40 hertz tone from the DD1 test disc, and we'll see how much power we can get out of the amp at four ohms bridged. Go into this sundown sub. See what we get. Okay, so it was clipping at 77 watts at 11.7 ohms. She was getting down. I turned it down because anytime you have clipping, you do not want the speaker to continue to receive the clip signal. It's just not good. But there you have it. 77 watts at 4 ohms. Thought it would do a little bit better than that. What's up with that, MA Audio? All right, so in order to get into the amp, there's only four hex screws on the top here. Use your little hexagonal wrench. Take those four out and then you can just lift it right up by the handles and here are the guts as you can see not a whole lot going on here friends there is the board that has all the controls for the bass crossovers gain etc there's the vu meters there's the transformer a couple of filter caps there there's a huge computer style fan it looked like based on the case there should be two fans but i guess there's only one and the fan runs constantly all the time when you have the amp on. It's actually kind of loud, but I guess you wouldn't hear it really in the trunk. But there you have it. Here are the results of the MA Audio HC502. You can see it did okay, 8 ohms and 4 ohms. And once we got to 2 ohms, it kind of fell off. And then 1 ohm was just an absolute fail. But hope you guys enjoyed this What's in the Box Wednesday. I can't always promise that I'm going to do a full dyno test and everything like that. I was just thinking I would unbox things and show you guys what people had sent me. If you like things like that, want to see more content, less editing, you know, for an extra video, I'll be glad to do it. If you want to help support the channel, check me out on patreon.com slash old school stereo and support for as little as $1 a month. Big shout out to my gold supporters, Matthew and Marcus. Also a big shout out to soundstreamregistry.com. Thank you for your support. Out of here. All 
All right, MA Audio HC502. We're going to try it at 1 ohm mono. It's rated 500 watts. Let's try 40 hertz, 1 ohm mono. <laughs> Something popped. <laughs> Not really sure. Power just went out. Uh, light is still on, but I think the fuse popped. I think that's what I heard. We'll check it and see. You big dog. Make sure to check out some of my other videos on my channel. I have over 500 videos here on YouTube. Most of them car audio related. Some home audio, some pro audio, some big dummy related. But anyway, just check them out if you get a chance. Thanks for watching.